Hi, this is a video on my VW swing axle to IRS conversion. I'm using the uh, three rib type two VW bus transmission. Over here you can see that I took the stock transmission brace uh, off the VW uh, swing axle and I cut it out and beefed it up a little bit to adapt it to the three rib. On the front, I made a quarter inch plate transmission mount. I welded it in. <clears throat> Since my rear transmission mount sits a little bit lower, I had to notch out my uh, the, the trailing, uh, the frame arms. So I notched these out, welded in quarter inch pieces. Over here you can see the uh, IRS mounts that I welded, tack welded in for now. Um, I had to, I cut out a little bit more than I wanted to. Initially I was trying to um, not use a jig, but that wasn't working out too well. So I went ahead and ordered the jigs. Here's the jig I used. It's a uh, USA made. I believe it's uh, PacificCustoms.com. <clears throat> Welded it in. I also uh, cut my spring plates <clears throat> and then I also notched them. So if you can see over here, you can see these slots here that I punched out with an iron worker. That worked really well. I'm using the uh, VW swing axle drums. Um, my axles are the Porsche 930, so I'll be able to use bus CVs on each end. Bus CV here, bus CV here, and then the standard VW car axles. Um, also, I had to cut off the uh, upper bump stop portion of the um, of the rear end, just so that um, the trailing arms would be able to reach all the way up to this bump stop right here. Uh, eventually, I will probably notch out part of my part of my swing plate here. That will give me a little bit more clearance and a little bit more rear suspension travel. Um, also, note on the front. Um, I had to use a, uh, an existing spacer here um, since I don't have the IRS drums. I did use the um, IRS backing plate though on the back. Um, I think that's about it. Thanks.